it's your boy Junior, aka King V, and welcome to the roommates. Today, I'm taste testing field roast Mexican Chipotle vegan sausage. I'm hungry. So, roomies, go grab your plates, go get your food, and come sit down and chill with me. And while you at it, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell button so you can get future notifications every time the roommates drop a new video. Enjoy watching. Now let's eat. Now let's eat. Now these my, uh, these Mickey figgies supposed to be hot. So, you know, Keisha can't take too much heat. So she already told me they're hot. So I'm going to go ahead and try one. Uh, we're gonna put it together, but just so we can get this going, I'm gonna give my first bite with one of these onion rings. Let me grab this ketchup. Three, two, one. one. That's just an onion ring. I'm gonna have put many things together though. I got me some um sauteed onions and um, bell peppers. I eat that with almost everything. Onions and bell peppers and avocados. That's pretty much everything. That makes every every meal good. And if y'all don't eat vegetables, I do not know what world y'all live in. I believe that it's a must that we eat to live. That's pretty. I'm going to let y'all see that though. I should have let y'all see this first though. Maybe we can get a thumbnail. Let's see if, if, if YouTube would pick it up. Maybe this would be a thumbnail. Here we go. I hope, it was, I hope they got it. But just in case, you know, I don't even want no condiments on it. I'm just gonna eat it like this. And he go the first bite of this too. Three, two, one. It got some spice to it. Well, it ain't, it ain't like burning hot. That thing is hot. Man, this thing ain't that hot, Keisha. That thing hot. It tastes good, though. That smells for you. If y'all watching this video and y'all never tried to, um, any type of vegan food, oh, this is definitely something I give, uh, recommend you try first. When we was down in uh, Houston, I got a chance to, uh, I'm going to say flip. <laughs> I got a chance to flip my big homie. <laughs> uh, my big homie don't even want no, uh, he don't even want no meat no more. Uh -huh. Messing with me for five days, messing with the roommates for five days, uh, he was able to uh, learn how to put his um, blood pressure under control <laughs> with just food. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> I um, I bought him a, um, an Impossible Burger, and for the record, I eat Impossible Burgers all the time from White Castle, from a, a restaurant in Oak Park called Scratch. Uh, we had one the other day from uh, TGIF. That was TGIF. We had one the other day from TGIF Friday. That was a Beyond Burger from 
Beyond Burger. Oh, that's Beyond Burger. Mm-hmm. From TGI. Okay. But when we was in Houston, oh man. They 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 impossible burger. Whatever the name of that company, the name of that restaurant I bought it for, I'm gonna um I'm gonna find them and try to put their name right here. Because if you're in Houston, try that burger out. Oh man. Or if you're visiting Houston and you wanna uh try a vegan burger, they got one that's man, it's 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 delicious. But I bought one for my for uh for, for Keisha uh uncle and <laughs> the expression on his face was priceless. <laughs> he couldn't believe that it was uh, plant based. So we decided to uh, buy one of our homies, um, Shadow Assassin. Uh, uh, impossible burger from Fat Burger in, in California, and I asked him to do a video with it. So if y'all get a chance to, the link to that video is gonna be in the description below. <laughs> he couldn't believe it either. This onion and bell pepper, man, just extra good. Try with some onion and bell pepper. It's good. Real good. Black. Happy Black History Month. I want to dedicate this video to um, the men and women who lost their life in Tulsa, Tulsa, Oklahoma, um, better known to a lot of people as Black Wall Street. I ain't gonna really elaborate too much into the story because it's, it may be children listening, and it may be people of different races listening, and I wouldn't want to um, offend anyone. But if you had the time. Google Black Wall Street. Mm. Money and bell peppers are hip. I could eat just these by yourself, to be honest with you. I don't even need these. I'm a real overvore. These good though. Y'all should go and try these. If you like heat, oh, it's got a little kick to it. What's good part about these is I got all these to myself, unless uh, Amber, you know what I'm saying, get one. But Keisha don't like these. She can't. She like them, but they too hot for her. Mm. They're all mine. And we got a chance to. Um, Get uh, Prissy P and her husband to uh, taste some vegan food, and we got it. Um, we got it on camera, and we gonna um, we had did a video about the, like little vlog while we was in Houston. They like vegan food too. Cheers. Every wine. That I've tasted from uh, Stella Rosa, been pretty good. Also, when I was in Houston, there was a man in the uh, liquor store. Uh, his name was Ross. He educated me on uh, on the on the on the grape that Stella Rosa used. He let me he he uh, let me know that it was a white grape. So I, I've been um, doing a little reading on the the types of grapes that they make wines with because I find myself liking wine. So I, I want to know what I'm drinking before I really indulge in it. He told me that um, the grape they use for wine is not meant for consumption. Like, you don't eat them. I want to know why.
Let me put a little ketchup on it. See how that be. I wonder if it'll take some of the heat, cause I don't want to lose the, I don't want to use the, lose the heat or the flavor. Mm. Mm, I wouldn't recommend ketchup. When I was eating meat, I used to eat a lot of um, Chicago style hot dogs, so I don't know. I'm a mustard dude when it comes down to like things of this nature, but I wouldn't recommend ketchup. But I would recommend these onion bell peppers. Mm hmm. A little wine is good for the stomach. I'm actually getting full. I don't eat a lot of food like that, but I know y'all probably thought I was going to try to kill this. Uh-uh. ain't going to make it, y'all. ain't going to make it. I'm going to finish this one for y'all, though. I don't like eating bread like that either. So, most likely if I ate these, it'll be without the bread and maybe just with the onions and bell peppers. I don't eat a lot of this type of stuff either. Or maybe I'll just saute my onions and get the sausage just to amble. Because I like the flavor more than I like the sausage. But this is good sausage. I wonder how to be like off a of grill that this might like off a of grill might be uh, real decent real decent mm -mm. this is a hit though That's it, y'all. I'm full. Mm. I can't do it. But I would recommend this is a very good vegan sausage. Very good. And it goes good with wine. I think everything goes good with wine. Mm. Yeah, pretty much. So, in closing, very good vegan sausage. I recommend it with onions and bell peppers. I recommend everything with onions and bell peppers. <laughs> and this uh, this last drink is to the women and the men who lost their lives. And it was children. Tulsa, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Black Wall Street. Happy Black History, you guys. They ain't too much happy about that, though. Google Black Wall Street.